In this tutorial, I'm going to find the inverse of 17 modulo 64. So to find uh, that uh, inverse of 17 modulo 64, we have to solve uh, the linear congruence 17x congruent to 1 modulo 64. To solve for linear congruences, we have to look at uh, the following information. If C is the greatest common divisor of A and M, and if C divides B, then AX congruent to B modulo M is C incongruent solutions. So looking at um, the form of uh, the linear congruence there, AX congruent to B modulo M, and compare it with uh, the linear congruence which is on the left, we see that the A is a 17, B is a 1, M is a 64. And the C is the greatest common divisor of A and M, which is the greatest common divisor of 17 and uh, 64. 17 there is a prime number, so the greatest common divisor there of 17 and 64 should give us a 1. But uh, in this case, I will use uh, the Euclidean algorithm to get that uh, greatest common divisor, just because we will need to use back substitution to solve uh, that linear congruence. So using the Euclidean algorithm, we have our 64 there. And uh, we look at um, the quotient. For the quotient, we'll be looking at uh, the flow value of 64 divided by 17. That flow value is uh, a 3. So def 64 is equal to 17 times 3. And the remainder is 64 minus 17 times 3, which gives us a 13. So to be plus 13, the remainder there. We now go on and look at uh, 17. So we have the 17. Then look at the flow value of uh, 17 divided by 13. And uh, that uh, flow value gives us a 1. So def 17 is equal to 13 times 1. And the remainder will be 17 minus 13 times 1, which gives us a 4. Then we go on and look at uh, the 13 and the 4. So we look at uh, the flow value of 13 divided by 4. It gives us a 3. So we have uh, 13 is equal to 4 times 3. The remainder is 13 minus 4 times 3, which gives us a 1. So we have a plus 1 there. Then we go on and look at the 4 and the 1. The flow value of uh, 4 divided by 1 is a 4. So the 4 is equal to 1 times the quotient 4. So using now the Euclidean algorithm, the greatest common divisor is the last non-zero remainder. The last non-zero remainder there is a 1, so we have the greatest common divisor of 17 and 64 is a 1. And we check if uh, the C divides B, our B is a 1, so we are having 1 divides 1, therefore we have 1 incongruent solution. Now to find our value of x, we have to look at the equivalent equation ax minus my equals to b. We have our A is 17, our B is 1, our M is 64. Therefore, our equivalent equation is 17x minus 64y is equal to 1. And to find the value of x using back substitution, I will use uh, the equations that we looked at when looking at uh, the Euclidean algorithm. I will label those equations, equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number 3. From equation number three, what we see there is uh, we can try to rearrange it and we can write the one there as 13 minus 4 times 3. So we have 1 is equal to 13 minus 4 times 3. But from equation number two, we see that the 4 there is equal to 17 minus 13 times 1. So if we substitute away, we have the 4, we put 17 minus 13 times 1. Our equation then become 13 minus 3, then times 17 minus 13 times 1. Where I had the 4 there, I replaced with 17 minus 13 times 1. If I multiply throughout by that 3, then we have 13 minus 17 times 3 plus 13 times 3. But what we are having there, we are having a 13, and we are adding it to 3 13s. So if we have 3 13s and add one more 13, we would have 4 13s. So 13 plus 3 times 13, it will, it will give us a 13 times 4. So we have a 13 times 4 minus 17 times 3. From equation number 1, 
18 is uh, equals to 64 minus 17 times 3. And if we substitute that into the equation above, where we are having 13, we are putting 64 minus 17 times 3. We will get a 4 times 64 minus 17 times 3. Both where we have the 13 there, we are putting 64 minus 17 times 3, then minus the 17 times 3. Multiply throughout by the 4 there, we will have 64 times 4 minus 17 times 12 minus 17 times 3. We now combine those terms where we have 17 times 12 and 17 times 3. What we are saying there is we have 12 17s and we are adding a 3 17s and that will give us 15 17s. So that will simplify to 64 times 4 minus 17 times 15. So what we are having there is 1 is equals to 64 times 4 minus 17 times 15. So the equations that we are having now, there are those two. I now want to write the equation which is on the right in the form of the equation which is on the left there. So the equation on the left is a 17 times x. But in our case, there on the right, we are having a minus 17 times 15. But what you can do to have a 17, which is positive, you can put the minus sign inside the parentheses, so it will be 17 times minus 15. And the 64 for it to have a negative, would uh, put a negative there, then put a negative in the parentheses on the 4. So it will be minus 64 minus 4. So our equation becomes 17 times minus 15 minus 64 times minus 4 is equal to 1. We can now compare this equation, this one here, and the one that I've just written there. And these equations have the same form. We have a 17 multiplying an x, the other one is a 17 multiplying a minus 15. We have a minus 64 multiplying a y, then on the right we have minus 64 multiplying by a minus 4. Therefore, by comparison of those two highlighted equations, we can see that uh, x is equal to minus 15. But the solution of the linear congruence that you want is a positive solution. And to get that positive solution, we have to add the m. Our m was a 64. So if we add 64 to minus 15, we get x is equal to 49. So the value of x that we have obtained there is the inverse of 17 modulo 64.